element called noise. It can be physical, semantic, or psychological. Let's discuss the different types of hindrances to communication, starting with physical noise. Physical noise refers to the everyday environmental noise that disrupts messages. These include low volume, sounds of vehicles, physiological impairment. Physiological impairment refers to conditions of body systems that may hinder you from listening well, such as deafness or blindness. Semantic noise refers to when a sender and a receiver interprets words in different ways. Syntactical, organizational, and cultural noises are kinds of semantic noise. Syntactical noise are mistakes in grammar and tenses that elicit different interpretations. Organizational noise can be unclear or badly stated directions that can confuse a receiver. Miss Jillian, would yes, you please Jill. forward the support to Miss Clara? All right, Ma'am Jo, thank you. Hi, Miss Clara. Hi. Ma'am Jo wanted you to have this. Um, okay, thank you. You're welcome. Hi, Ma'am Jo, I'm still requesting for the report. Huh? I already asked Jillian to give it to you earlier. Oh no! Did you mean Miss Clara, Ma'am Jo? Oh, I thought it was for Clara. Meanwhile, cultural noise are inconsistencies in the meaning due to cultural barriers. Since we live in a diverse planet with diverse cultures, communication styles may also vary according to a specific culture. And lastly, Psychological noise are the thoughts and feelings that distract a person from fully understanding a message. For example, two people cannot understand each other because of their strong emotions. To get rid of noise that causes misunderstanding, both sender and receiver should make a conscious and collaborative effort to listen. Truly. Effective communication is a collaborative effort between the sender and manage different hindrances to communication. Forms of noise can be physical, semantic, or psychological, let us discuss how we can address each type of communication hindrance. For physical noise, one can adjust his or her surroundings in order to reduce this type of noise. Removing distractions such as phones or loud noises when talking to someone is one way of removing physical noise. In order to address semantic noise, one must really appropriate the message that he or she communicates. One way of doing so is proofreading a document or email before sending it to a receiver. Finally, psychological noise can be addressed by making sure that your emotions are intact before giving comments or making a decision in the workplace. Never give comments when you are angry or if you are feeling strong negative emotions. Make sure that you are emotionally fine so that you can give rational, true, balanced, yet empathetic comments to your workmate.